like turn on the <laughs> right turn, yeah. you enunciate you're getting frustrated looking like man i might have to get up and use the switch <laughs> oh no uh, what yeah and then you say like alexa plebe. why are you so useless a loser you're a loser <laughs> and a bitch you're getting mad <laughs> at, a, at a machine yeah uh it's all 98 7 the woody show is uh, back and uh we want to know what's happening Whoa. in the world of nerds and uh rave is going to tell us all about that in this Friday edition of Nerd Now. <laughs> the Woody Show presents Nerd Now with Ravy. Well, January is mostly holiday holdover movies, but you do have a movie for those horror-loving teenagers, Night Swim. Night Swim. Nice. About a haunted pool. <laughs> yeah, I did oh, see I the trailer. trailer. Yeah. Yeah. I have seen that commercial. <laughs> yeah. A haunted pool. Haunted pool. That's where the ghosts live. Don't go in. In the pool. You know what? Just stay out of it. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty easy. <laughs> that hits theaters this weekend. New to streaming on Netflix, you have The Brother's Son, headed up by Michelle Yeoh. She's the matriarch of a crime family that she doesn't know is a crime family. Or does she? And then on Sunday, Paramount Plus will also be simulcasting Joe Coy hosting the Golden Globes. Nice. So it's on CBS and Paramount Plus. Uh... The legit most fun award show that they have out there. People are drinking, and it's movies and TV, which I think is also yeah. fun. Uh, the best movie dramas nominated are Anatomy of a Fall, Killers of the Flower Moon, Maestro, Oppenheimer, Past Lives, and The Zone of Interest. Anybody here watch that Killers of the Flower Moon? No. no. Is it out on streaming yet? It is. Yeah. Next week, I believe. Oh, you can like get it on for Apple free, TV for Apple Plus. TV yeah. But it's, it's been where you can like, rent, uh, it. Mm, rent it. Yeah, I'm not paying for that. Yeah. Good. Next yeah. next week on Apple TV. I want to watch Plus, it. You'll be able to see it. I haven't watched it. one it's of on those my, movies. on my quote wish list. I watched okay. Maestro. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, Such a bore. It, it sucked. You Shocking. couldn't tell that by the commercial? <coughs> no, the, the trailer the looks like, incredible. Ugh. And I thought, oh, I don't know anything about Leonard Bernstein. Now I'll, now I'll learn about him. You learn nothing <laughs> other than he chain smoked. Well, that's it. Now I'm not watching it. And dated dudes, <laughs> although he got married to a woman who seemed to be fine that he dated dudes. And then she was sad that he was with dudes. And then he just smoked some more. It sucked. <laughs> All right. It was, the, it was terrible. The best comedy is musicals nominated. That's also a thing the Golden Globes does. Breaks it up into dramas and then comedies. Air, American Fiction, Barbie, The Holdovers, May, December, and Poor Things. Best drama series, Succession, The Last of Us, The Crown, The Morning Show, The Diplomats, and 1923. And the best comedies up for Golden Globes, The Bear, Ted Lasso, Abbott Elementary, Only Murders in the Building, Jury Duty, which I still haven't watched. I really want to watch I, I that. See so it. good. It's, it's a yeah. uh, reality prank on a guy, but it's done in kind of like, a, oh, everybody's having a good time sort and of way. And it's on Freebie? It's on Freebie. Yeah. Okay. Right, yeah. And uh, Barry. Also nominated for Best oh, Comedy. Speaking of freebie, I've been meaning to ask you, Greg, forever. Have you been watching the Jeff Lewis show on there? Of course. It's so good. I love it. Ooh. Can't get enough. What's a Jeff Lewis? Uh, hello? I was thinking the same thing. Jeff Lewis? <laughs> designer, Jeff? interior designer. Jeff? He rules. Yeah, I don't know who that is. Remodels everything? No. Never what? heard of him. Oh, it's... He looks in the face like I'm sorry. Uh, Christy guy. How yeah. dare you, Woody? Apologies. <laughs> I mean, love if you Jeff watch Lewis. HGTV, how would you not know who Jeff Lewis is? He's a god. I, I'm what, shocked what, that Woody doesn't know. What show yeah. on HGTV? <laughs> he didn't do HGTV, but it's okay, in that I vein. I know, but yeah. that's what I watch. I don't watch all the he Netflix, had, um, Home Improvement stuff. Uh, what was or it? the uh, other ones that you guys watch? Out. Flipping Out. And now this current one is called Hollywood House Lift. Wait, he's just doing, he's doing home over, like makeovers for, for celebrities. celebrities, yeah. Because oh, they need it. And it rules. <laughs> yeah. Well, they pay for it. It's not like And they, he talks so much ish. It's so on good. On the celebrities. Yeah. As I'm not saying I wouldn't watch house. it. Just now, I, you yeah. would love it. Watch it. Now, during award season, you're probably going to see a lot of speeches from director Christopher Nolan, because he's going to win all the directing awards for Oppenheimer. I love this story. Uh, Menace is always the first to say, who gives a crap about the critic score, yeah. where Nolan does have appreciation for movie criticism, especially when he's winning a, an award for the New York Film Critics. Yeah. So he wins this award for Best Director for Oppenheimer, and in his acceptance speech, he told the story about being in a live high-interval Peloton class and the instructor takes a big dump on his movie yeah. tenant. He's he's doing the workout. <laughs> he's in this workout uh, dying. Right? Yeah. So anyway, somebody found the clip, Ooh. right, from the Peloton workout, and she goes all in on him. <laughs> I, I had to clean up the language. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, here we go. Listen to uh, this. This is the Peloton class. Now imagine Christopher Nolan sitting there 
Pedaling. Working out, yeah, sweating. All of a sudden, this is what happens. This song is from the soundtrack of a movie called Tenet. Anybody see this? <laughs> Did anybody see this besides me? Because I need a manual. Someone's got to explain this. Yeah, I'm not kidding. What the f was going on in that movie? Do you understand? Seriously, you need to be a neuroscientist to understand. And that's two and a half hours of my life that I want back. I want it back. A <laughs> uh, team Peloton instructor right there. Well, yeah. and, he, and he's in that. <laughs> he's in that class. That's yeah. hilarious. And he saw it happen. But you hate Tenet. I hate Tenet. She yeah. basically called. She basically called out herself for being stupid. For not, not understanding, understanding like, basic it, yeah. timelines. Tenet. You can explain it to me because I sure as hell don't you get go, it. You go. You go back. You go reverse in time and forward in time. I, I was like very easy, Ravi. Drove an hour to see it because it was during COVID times. So <laughs> I lost like five hours of my <laughs> life yeah. on Tenant. So he talked about this in his uh, acceptance speech by the New York film critics, and uh, he said, "Look." When film critic Rex Reed takes an ish on your film, he doesn't at least ask you to work out during it. <laughs> <laughs> he said, today's world, opinions are everywhere, and there's sort of this idea that film criticism is being democratized. But I, for one, think the critical <clears throat> appreciation of fi uh, films shouldn't be an instinct. It should be a profession. Oh, yeah. God. In other words, I don't want to hear from you, Peloton. Right. Like, yeah, yeah right. 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 Pelotars for Exactly. But... <laughs> She's so right. She's so right. Uh, we were wondering this week, how is Gypsy Rose Blanchard? What's she going to do for money now that she's out of prison? Well, she's got some of that sweet, sweet Lifetime money. Uh, because tonight on Lifetime, the prison confessions of Gypsy Rose Blanchard. Woo! Ooh, <laughs> it's a six-episode limited series. It starts tonight. If uh, you don't have cable or something with Lifetime, I think Hulu is going to be the place where you can find it. What everybody's talking about with her, though, she can't stop talking about her man's Big D oh. on social media. Yes. I think she's just trying to pump him up. Yeah, because yeah. he's getting so much hatred. He's a big fat, he's awkward big loser fat kind of guy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and she's just like, you know, she's doing what she's supposed to do. She's Aww. stepping in for her man. <laughs> but God, this is D. His yeah. D is insane. Like, he looks terrible. <laughs> Close your eyes. But guys. The D guys. is crazy. <laughs> the D. And uh, so the book and movie, Ready Player One, the future sucks so yeah. hard that everybody spends their time in the metaverse, which they call the Oasis. Well, the book author, Ernest Klein, one of the movie producers, along with Warner Brothers, are all teaming up to bring an Oasis-type experience to the metaverse. They're calling it the Readyverse. Oh, dude. <laughs> but, For I real? Mean, it's That's expected awesome. to launch later on this year. This is their mission statement, and Greg, maybe you can explain it to me. <laughs> the Readyverse will champion the principles of the open metaverse, which are provable digital ownership, community-owned infrastructure, decentralization, security, and intraoperability. She can't even say it, Greg. Can you explain it? <laughs> what? I don't even know what I just heard. <laughs> <laughs> Did huh? I... Well, I love that movie. I've probably pulled a great gory and watched it about 15 times. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh. The book is really good. The movie's not bad, but the book's awesome. I didn't read the book, so. It's hard no to tenet. believe. Hard to believe. There's no <laughs> tenant. Uh, the author, uh, Klein, he said the future's arrived even more quickly than I imagined. I'm Ravian. For more nerd stuff, check out the Nerd Not Podcast at thewoodyshow.com. All right. Thank you very much, Ravels. You got it, dog. We got some more Woody Show coming up for you next. Hang on. Don't go anywhere. The Woody Show will be right back.